Good morning. This is meteorologist Greg Meffert with the National Weather Service here in Paducah, Kentucky. Here to talk about the weekend flash flood potential for a good portion of our forecast area. During the morning process, the decision was made to go ahead and initiate a flash flood watch for a good portion of the area um, beginning Saturday morning and running all the way through Sunday night into Monday morning. Here's a look at the area that we decided to issue the watch for, be, again, beginning Saturday at 7 a.m. That includes all of our southeast Missouri counties, all of our southern Illinois counties, all of our southwest Indiana counties up in the tri-state area, and a small area of, of northwest Kentucky along the Ohio River from about New Madrid up through Paducah into Henderson, Evansville, and the Owensboro area. Again, that watch is valid through 7 a.m. on Monday morning, so this is a fairly long duration watch. Looking at the forecast map coming up for Saturday, see a cold front that's approaching from the northwest. Um, focus on your red hatched area highlighted. That is the area where our initial flooding looks like it's going to be setting up, which fits the watch area fairly well. As we head into Sunday, that front does not move much, uh, if any at all. And low pressure down in just to the southwest of Arkansas is going to be throwing a lot of tropical moisture up over and along that front. And hence, again, your solid red hatched area indicating the greatest potential for flooding through Sunday into Monday. As far, as far as specific totals, this is your three day total. This will be beginning Saturday, ending Monday, mainly Saturday through Monday. We could have a little bit of precursor, um, some showers today and this afternoon, but the main emphasis is going to be Saturday through Monday morning. And within that time frame, within the, the red area, there is greater than three inches with a six inch bullseye over southeast Missouri. Um, again, these placements may vary just a little bit wiggling back and forth with time because there's not 100% confidence yet of where this front is going to set up. But the shorter term, at least through the weekend, the models are coming into better focus um, that it's going to be somewhere right along and north the Ohio River. Just to give you an idea of how long this event may last, looking into early next week, this will be the rainfall totals beginning around Saturday, going all the way through Wednesday now, through Tuesday into Wednesday morning, 7 a.m. Wednesday, up to 10 inches in southeast Missouri, greater than 6 inches over a large, large part of the watch area, and there could be locally higher amounts than this. So this is um, especially concerning um, to us, especially given the duration that this could set in on. So focusing on impacts now. Flash flooding of roadways, of course, both, both urban and rural areas. We could have washed out water crossings, um, especially in southeast Missouri where the heavier totals may fall and where we have a lot of low water, water crossings um, near the foothills um, of the Ozarks. We're also going to possibly see flooding of creeks, streams, small waterways. That could even cause some residential flooding, especially in flood prone locations. Once again, the duration of the event, possibly right into early next week, could eventually cause larger river basins to flood. So we'll also be looking at the, the bigger water basins like the Ohio River and Mississippi River and a lot of the medium water basins out in southeast Missouri for the possibility um, of flooding of those waterways as well. So that's a quick look at your briefing for Friday morning, August 12th. Hope you guys all have a safe weekend.